Hey, welcome to the workshop. Today I've got a quick tip for you for soldering the GPIO header onto a Raspberry Pi Zero or a Pi Zero W. Now the Pi Zero and Pi Zero W are great little microcomputers. They're tiny and they go for a very tiny price. This Pi Zero is a $5 computer, whereas for $10 the Pi Zero W adds Bluetooth and Wi-Fi capability. But one of the ways they cut costs was by not putting the GPIO header onto the board. If you want one, you're going to need to solder it on yourself. Now there may be times that you don't need the GPIO header. You might not be using any I.O. pins in your project, or you might just be using a couple and prefer to solder wires directly to the holes in the board. But if you're adding a Raspberry Pi hat onto your project, you're going to need to put one of these header pins on. And that's what I'm going to show you how to do today. It's not a difficult solder job, but what can be difficult is getting everything lined up and held together. And I've got a little trick that I want to share with you for doing that. Okay, now here I've got a couple of Raspberry Pi Zeros and a few examples of some headers. Now this is the proper type of header to use. This is a two-row, 40-pin header, and it'll fit directly into the holes that are provided for the GPIO connector on the Raspberry Pi Zero. However, you may not have one of those, and another thing you can use is these really commonly available terminal strips. Now, these happen to have 40 pins on them, so if you cut them into two pieces, you'll end up with two 20-pin pieces that you can solder into the same holes on the Pi Zero. However, one thing you have to be very careful about is aligning them up right so that they'll mate correctly with any hats that you're going to put onto your Pi Zero. And that's where the trick that I'm going to show you really shines. Now one piece of advice that you'll sometimes hear about soldering headers onto circuit boards is to use a solderless breadboard, mount the header into the solderless breadboard, and use that as a jig for holding everything together while you're soldering. I'm personally not fond of that technique because the pins on the header are a bit larger than the wires we use on solderless breadboards. And after doing this a few times, you're going to ruin the solderless breadboard. You might even end up dropping some solder on the solderless breadboard, and that's something we don't want to happen. So instead of using solderless breadboards, I use the same technique, but I use perf board. Now perf board or perforated circuit boards are boards that we commonly use for prototyping devices without building a printed circuit board. And they come in a variety of styles and also a variety of qualities. Now this is a high quality perf board. It's double sided and it's plated through. This is not the type that I'm recommending. Instead, I'm recommending lower quality boards like these ones. These are single sided boards that are not plated through and they'll actually hold the connectors very well and they'll hold them very snugly. What what I do is I take one of my connectors and I place it onto the board and push it into the board and the board holds it very very snugly. After that I can take my Raspberry Pi Zero and just mount that onto the header itself. Let's let me line that up. And then this whole assembly can be soldered. I'm just going to put this into my circuit board holder and solder it without fear of the connector moving. This also works great when you're using the two rows of single connectors because the board will hold it quite securely. If you find your board is not holding it that securely, just put a second board underneath the first board and that will line everything up perfectly for you. So let's go and solder this right now. All right, I have my Pi mounted onto this perf board with the connector already on it. I'm going to put this into my circuit board holder right now. And tighten everything up. And we'll start soldering. Turn on my fume extractor. Now when you're soldering these, you should always solder the opposite corners first, and that'll hold everything in place. That way you can make sure that everything is pressed down correctly. So solder those first, and then we'll just solder everything else up.
So after using a little bit of flux remover to clean all my connections up, I have now got a Raspberry Pi Zero with a GPIO header on it. And the perf board made it very easy to hold everything together. So I hope you enjoyed this quick tip. I'm going to be making a number of other quick tip videos, as well as regular tutorials on subjects that include the Raspberry Pi, the Arduino, the Internet of Things, quadcopters, general electronics, and all sorts of interesting things. And the best way to find out about these new videos is just to hit the subscribe button, which you'll find below this video. And you can also visit DroneBotWorkshop.com. On my website, I've got articles where I detail everything that I do in the videos. So please check that out as well. So until next time, take care. Thank you for joining me. And we'll see you again soon here in the workshop. Bye for now.